Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a gloomy Loch Morlick just outside Aviemore. Today we're going to do a popular loop that should be fairly straightforward and suitable for this pretty overcast and miserable day. Also featured in the extremely good Gravel Ride Scotland book from Ed Shute, this popular loop starts and ends on the shores of Loch Morlick. We will ride through Glenmore Forest and Anne Slugan into the valley of the River Spey before turning east and cycling on tracks and roads past Loch Garten and Tor Hill into Abernethy Forest. Then we turn south and follow the River Nethy upstream over the Rivoan Pass into Glenmore. We end the loop in the Glenmore Forest Park and riding round the southern edge of Loch Morlick. So I'm pretty keen to get going, so I'm going to crack on now before any rain comes and let's catch up on the route. Let's go! So we're just going through the woods now on this lovely, lovely sandy gravel trail. It's really nice in here. I do like coming through here. We've only got five or six k's worth of gravel before we hit Little B Road. So it's not very long, but so far so smooth. Well, that was very enjoyable. Just crossed over now, we're on the little B road before we head into Abernethy and go look for some ospreys. I don't think I'm gonna see many ospreys today. Bit cloudy, but that was really nice. It got a bit rough in the middle and then it smoothed off again when we got back into like the more estatey access roads, but lovely. Nice little track that. Probably get some good views up there if it wasn't for all the cloud and fog. But what can you do? It's Scotland in the winter. At least it's not raining. Okay. Let's cycle along this bit of road, get back onto the forest track, and maybe we'll see some ospreys. I don't think we will.
Okay, we've completed the road section. We're now in Abernethy Nature Reserve. This pine forest has trees that are over 4,000 years old. I don't know of any personally, but they're, apparently they're in here somewhere. Road section then. Yeah, it's a road, but it's also private and unmaintained in places, so it's pretty gravelly and rough. So don't be taking your road bikes down there. Good for a gravel bike, definitely. I enjoyed that. Didn't get to see any views over Lock Garden really. Put the drone up, put old Frank up, see what he could find, but it was a bit cloudy. I didn't really want to disturb, get too close to the nature reserve and stuff. So maybe next time, or you can extend the loop around, I think, and go a bit further out and take some of the nature trails over by Lock Garden. Not for me today though. This is for me today. Let's go through this forest. All right, it's warming up a bit now. It's also raining a bit now. So I'm just doing a bit of, bit of pace to get to the next good section before the rain comes in. Also, I was doing that annoying thing that happens when I'm filming and I encounter walkers and then I, I overtake them and then I stop to do some sort of film shot and then they overtake me and then I get back on my bike again and I overtake them and then they go past me again. I go past them, it gets a little bit tedious for everyone. So just putting a bit of distance between me and them right now. Give me some time to get some nice shots later on, hopefully. All right, we're out of the forest. We're onto the Rivoan Pass now. Starts off smooth and gets a bit chattery down there. I remember getting bounced around something rotten. The last two times I've come this way on my two Braemar to Aviemore trips. One that came up over that pass there, that was very hard. And one that came through those woods over there, that was a lot better. So I've been here a couple of times now, so I'm not gonna spend too much time dwelling on it. I might look at Rivoan if we're there, but it's usually really busy because it's one of the most accessible bodies in Scotland. So it's usually rammed with people just walking up there and having a poke about. We'll see how busy it is. All right, let's spend the next few minutes wishing I had suspension.
tell you what, that trail down from the Green Lochin, so much fun, so fast. But just be careful of walkers as always. So yeah, once you get to the Green Lochin from Rivoen, um, that's like the, the bone shaker section is between Rivoen and Green Lochin. So if you carefully go through that, then you get rewarded as you bomb down, hit the old logging trail if you want, or in the case of this route, quickly popped onto the road and then joined at the western end of Loch Morlich in the woods. Good stuff, enjoying this. Rain starting a little bit now, I might have to get my jacket back on. But yeah, this is a nice loop. I'm enjoying this one, well worth coming out for. And we're done. Back where we started, all ridden out. What a lovely loop. Almost say that's beginner friendly as well. It's probably definitely a highlight of a gravel ride around here. If you're ever in this area, come and do this. Absolutely brilliant. Incidentally, um, Brad from the Pfeiffer's Gravel Collective, uh, they're coming up here over the bank holiday weekend in May. So if you fancy doing some of the routes around here with them, jump on board. I'm not going to be able to make it. I've got other things I need to do, unfortunately. But I think they're going to do some of the right routes from um, Ed's book. So it should be a good time. So book your spot with him as soon as you can if you haven't. But for me, for me that will do, I think. I need to go and have some lunch, get a bit warm. It's got a bit chilly. Um, do the things like comment, subscribe, um, buy me a coffee if you like it, all those things. That really helps. And I will see you on the next ride. Thanks for watching, everyone.